Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. This is my top five Halloween candies. I uh, enjoy Halloween. It is Halloween today. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, For some who are of the age still, uh, they will be out trick-or-treating, hopefully safe. With their masks on, hopefully in neighborhoods that are vaccinated or places that are, I know there's like some kind of drive up kind of situations where you can trick or treat. I don't know what the reality of trick or treating is uh, these days uh, during a global pandemic. I don't know. I don't know in general how much kids are actually going out trick or treating. But in my day, back in my day, 30 years ago, um, I uh, loved trick-or-treating, loved getting the candy. I was a big dude back then. I am a big dude now. Uh, Don't eat as much candy as I I used to, but uh, it is something about Halloween where, you know, eating candy is just okay. I remember once uh, in my 20s during the Atkins diet days, uh, when the Atkins diet was really big, I got on the Atkins diet, and I lost a ton of weight. I was pretty thin in my 20s anyway. I was in good shape. I played a lot of pickup basketball. But uh, as I started putting weight back on, I did the Atkins diet thing, which works really great, which is now called the keto diet. I mean, very similar. Low carb, high protein. Uh, But on Halloween one year, I decided to break my diet. Let me tell you the craziness that happens when you go from being on a zero to low carb diet And then all of a sudden at work, right, there's a big bowl of candy at work. I was working at the pizza kitchen at a Costco. And uh, I was on meth. Might as well have been on meth. The amount of crazy energy I had from eating sugar was ridiculous. And then the crash was amazing. It was, like, insane how much of a drug sugar is once you are not, like, constantly feeding it to yourself. Uh, so Halloween is like that day where for me, eating candy is what you do. You have candy, especially after Halloween. Once Halloween night is when you acquire the candy or you have candy left over that you didn't give out to kids. There's really not that many kids out doing the thing that I've seen even pre pandemic. It seemed like very few and far between. It wasn't the event that it was when I was a kid. Uh, so anyway, these are my top five Halloween candies. Let's get into it, shall we? I even have, I'm going to be eating these candies. My mouth is watering right now because I, I have candy in front of me that I'm going to eat. And it's candy that I don't normally, I don't buy candy normally. Every once in a while, Sour Patch Kids is kind of, and that's not part of this. Spoilers. So I never, I never really got Sour Patch. Sour Patch Kids were always the movie theater candy for me. That's the other time candy's okay. Movie theater and Halloween, the, the, the month after Halloween, however long the candy lasts. Uh, so starting off with my number five, my fifth favorite candy to get at thanks, Thanksgiving. My favorite, fifth favorite candy to get uh, on Halloween was the classic... Tootsie Roll. I know. It's, it's boring. Some people may not like it. I don't really know how Tootsie Rolls stand. I think they're, they're pretty popular. There is some really bad Halloween candy out there where it's just powdery, sugary nonsense in disc form. This is not that. This is a chocolatey treat, my friends. The Tootsie Roll. And the Tootsie Roll, Halloween is the only time I eat Tootsie Rolls. Because you get them. There's also the fruit flavor ones, which are okay. I prefer the OG Tootsie Roll. You know, just the OG chocolate flavor. It's so good. Um, love it. I'm going to eat all of these. All of them. Just like piles of Tootsie Roll wrappers in my pockets. Right? Those Tootsie Rolls are so good. It melts in your mouth, man. 
I hate when people eat on podcasts, but that's what this episode is going to be. It doesn't sound good. But, um, yeah, Tootsie Roll. God, that was so good. Um, my number five. It's just like, out of the like single wrap things, most of them are fruit flavored. And there's other ones I like. But yeah, that one, I'm very chocolate heavy, I'm, I'm noticing. Which I'm, I don't know. It's weird. But this is like, this is my, this is my Halloween best of list. Like, I love Tootsie Rolls. You get tons of Tootsie Rolls, right? That's fine. Let's move on. Whew, so good. So good. Let me get a drink. Yeah. Cleanse the palate. Moving on to my fourth favorite Halloween candy. This is another staple that I really only see on Halloween. Now they may, I mean, maybe like, maybe, maybe uh, like a, like a Valentine's Day is kind of another candy holiday. They, I, but I think they have heart shaped of these. But during Halloween, you get the 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 best, the classic Reese's cups, the mini Reese's cups. These are the best too, because they're small, just like the Tootsie Rolls. But in addition to the the chocolate, which is delicious. My mouth is watering. In addition to the chocolate, under this foil and inside the chocolate is that yummy Hershey peanut butter. Now, I don't even eat, like, the, the standard size Hershey cups. They're fine. I never get them. I don't buy them. The only time I eat Hershey's, any, I mean, Hershey's, the Reese's Pieces, not Hershey's, Reese's Pieces, I will get. That's a movie theater candy for me sometimes. But the cups is only the mini cups during Halloween. So on Halloween, I will have pockets full of Tootsie Roll wrappers, and then I will have pockets full of foil with this paper thing on it encrusted with the Reese's cup. So good. That peanut butter... Is like the best, man. It really just melts in your mouth. Melts in your hand, too. But yeah, so in my pocket, I'd have... I'd have little aluminum foil balls and Tootsie Roll balls in my pocket all of November as I'm... I mean, I, all of November. I really probably finished off all the candy on November 1st, uh, to be honest. Come on. I was a fat kid. So, Reese's Mini Cups, my, my fourth favorite. My fourth favorite on a, any given, I mean, the Tootsie Roll and the, the Reese's Cup, it's just you get, usually when you get those, you get a plethora of them. You get a lot of them. So, it's, it feels like more. I don't know. It's great. They're perfect. And also, like, the trash is very compact, and you can just carry it because you don't want to litter. So number four, Reese's Cup Minis. A little over four years ago, I started The Many Faces. It's an ongoing series of abstract ink portraits. Each piece is improvised. Each piece is released daily. Start collecting now. Head on over to InspiredDisorder.com slash TMF, that stands for The Many Faces, and save yourself 25% when you use coupon code RTS. That stands for The Ray Taylor Show, because that's what you're listening to, and I love you. So I want you to save 25% when you use that coupon code. Head on over to InspiredDisorder.com slash TMF and use coupon code RTS to save 25% when you start collecting one of over 1,600 original ink paintings by myself, I made them. Support me. I love you. Back to the show. Moving on to my number three, my third favorite Halloween candy. 
Now, this is taking a, there's no chocolate in this candy, but it does describe a lifestyle. And I couldn't get the Halloween size of the packaging. Uh, so we'll just have to deal with the movie style box of nerds. Nerds are great. Now, specifically with nerds on Halloween, you're getting the smaller boxes, which is how I have always eaten nerds. I rarely, if never, have eaten nerds out of this larger style box. Every once in a while, I get a nerd trope. Nerd tropes are great, too. Not a Halloween thing. The nerds in the smaller boxes are, are the, the, the OG, the main Halloween thing. Let me see if I can open this without exploding them everywhere. Oh, look how beautiful, perfect that was. These ch tiny little colorful rocks of deliciousness. These little moon rocks of flavor explosions, you know? Uh, I mean, come on. They're so good. Crunchy. My teeth are going to fall out after this episode. I know it. So good. So sweet. But yeah, I always just like the little, the little, almost, they're almost like, um, oh, they're, they're small. The small little Halloween packages of the nerds are perfect. Because only you need a couple of those, right? Get a, like, it's a perfect mouthful. And you're good. It's like a punch of like sweet, fruity flavors. It's good. It's not like your mellow chocolate flavor with peanut butter. It's not your your Tootsie Roll that's kind of like this this fluffy, like a chocolate cloudy, snacky. Not cloudy, but like a, a chewy. So good. But not like chewy in the way that feels like it's going to rip your teeth out. Not a fan of that. So, nerds, my number three favorite, because it's the only candy I have on Halloween. And I, I loved seeing the nerds. You know, you can rattle the thing. It's a music maker. It's a taste maker. It's number three on my list. It's nerds. So moving on. Moving on to the top two. Coming in at number two. It's a choice that may be controversial. There are flavor aspects to this candy that some people just don't like. Most people like peanut butter. You know, they may be allergic to peanuts. But aside from that, most people love peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate, great combination. Right? Chocolate on its own. So good. Tootsie Pop, get out of here. Nerds. Fruity, sugary explosion. Coming in at number two is something that I love so much. And that is my number two favorite. Almond Joy. I also love mounds. But the almond is a nice touch. You got coconut coated in chocolate with an almond inside. I love coconut. Some people don't like coconut, which is weird. I don't know. I like it. Maybe it's a texture thing. I'm sure it's a texture thing. Uh, but, yeah, I love Almond Joys. Another candy I only got. I mean, I have gotten that, you know, sometimes I will get them. But it's like, it's, it's primarily Halloween candy for me. Look at that. It's like your perfect nugget of goodness, right? You got your almond in there. You got your little, little coconut chocolate-covered deliciousness. What? Oh, the flavor is so good. Mm. It's just so good. I feel bad for people that don't like coconut. I do. I, it's like similar people don't like mango. Man. Almond Joy. Now, the wrappers, not as compact. Because the nice thing about these other wrappers... Right with the, I mean, Nerds is a box, so that's you know that's a bummer as well. But the Tootsie Roll, or yeah, Tootsie Roll and the uh, Reese's, 
like they fit in your pocket nice where they don't accidentally come out of your pocket, right? You can stay like low key fat person. Just you can hide the the remains of of your massacre better in your pocket when it's a tiny little rolled up ball of paper. But when you get this kind of stuff, if you ever need to get in your pocket, you're going to be accidentally pulling out a couple of these that are coming out with your hand. And it's going to, you know, you have to be comfortable with who you are as somebody gorging on sweets on Halloween. So you got to be you got to be able to deal with that, which is fine. I can deal with that now. But I'm just saying as a kid, you can do the covert stuff with hiding the little balls of and it's easy to throw them away, like you can shoot them across the room. With these wrappers, it's a bummer. But yeah, Almond Joy, there's actually a tea that I started drinking that is a coconut and toasted almond tea. Oh, it is so good. It's so good. I think it's Bigelow is the company that makes it. So if you like Almond Joys and you like tea, it's a black tea, so there's caffeine in it. Um, I would check it out. Bigelow's uh, like coconut and toasted almond. So good. It's so good. Add some cream to it, too. It's, it's the best. It's the best. It's almost like drinking a milkshake. It, it, it makes you feel like uh, you're doing wrong things. Uh, but, yeah, so number two is Almond Joys, the, the delicious, delectable coconut chocolate almonds. Mm, just three flavors that just, like, explode in your mouth with joy. But moving on to my number one, my favorite Halloween candy. It's my favorite. It's my favorite not only for Halloween, but it's like one of the few candy bars that I will purchase out in the... Now, there's other candy bars that I'm leaving off this list. I kind of wanted a somewhat cohesive... Like, they couldn't all be candy bars, right? I had to get some that were like OG, like only... They're only found on Halloween, right? Nobody's buying Tootsie Rolls any other day of the year. Nobody... People are only getting the full-size Reese's Cups. They're not getting the minis. And nerds don't come in those small packages and are just too re- too much. It's too much. Almond Joy you can get is a two-pack. But this one, you get in a full-size. Coming in at number one, it is the candy bar Snickers. This is like... I mean, from top to bottom, Snickers, as a candy bar in general, it kind of hits all of the bases. You got your chocolate, you got your caramel, you got peanuts, and you got nougat. Like, by far the most complex as far as ingredients go, right? Almond Joy, you got three. Coconut, chocolate, almond. Reese's Cups, chocolate, and peanut butter. This one you got... A multitude of flavors working harmoniously to deliver amazing mouthfeels. If you're not going anywhere for a while, snap into a Snickers. I don't know if that's the thing. It comes with, as the candy bar thing situation comes happens, these, these wrappers that will just fly away. They will end up being like the feather in Forrest Gump. And will never hit the ground. But yeah, perfect. And great size. Full size Snicker bar, almost too much. The fun size, Halloween size Snicker bar is the perfect size, I think. The bite size. Right? You got all the layers of goodness in there? I mean, come on. Come on. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Chocolate all over my fingers, right? It's so good. It's so good. You know, the peanut butter, nice little crunchiness mixed with the caramel. Sweet, salty caramel. The nougat, which who knows what nougat is, but damn, it's nice and yummy. Chocolate all over the place. I feel disgusting right now. 
Oh. What is my life? Can't go wrong with Snickers. Probably one of the best. Probably one of the best. Candy bar top to, top to bottom anyway. But in the best little bite-sized bar. Snickers, number one. Not going anywhere for a while. Great. Great. And it's the one candy bar that really transcends Halloween for me. Like, I will buy sometimes if I'm at a grocery store, back when I used to go to grocery stores, and I'm waiting in line, and I may be like high or I'm just hungry and want a snack. You know, Snickers is pretty good. It's a good one. It'll get you there. You know? Anyway. So that's my top five Halloween candies. Uh, let me know what your favorite candy is to get on Halloween, whether you're a parent and it's the kind you buy. Obviously, if anybody says, like, the spree candy, or there's a lot of just bad Halloween candy out there. It's not very good. Right? I mean, even getting, like, a Snickers full size, like, this, the, you know, everybody's like, oh, they should do full size. Like, I would rather have, like, a handful of bite size than just a single full size it's more and it's not like i don't have you're not like i can just eat one bite and be done like if you open up a full candy bar you kind of have to eat the whole candy bar i mean you don't have to but it it leads to that it's a gateway candy that just forces you to eat way more way larger serving than you normally would have eaten uh, so my top five Halloween candies, one more time. Number five is Tootsie Roll. Number four is the Reese's Mini Cup. Number three is Nerds. Nerds. Number two, Almond Joy. I love coconut. And my number one, my favorite Halloween candy is the Fun Size Snickers. Get at me. Am I wrong? Am I right? What do you like? Tell me. Please tell me in the comments or whatever. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your candy. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspired disorder.com. Follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out!